I only come to the park bench occasionally now. I used to come every Friday at lunchtime. It's a quiet little park, not many people know about it, but I used to come here every week and have a sandwich and read the Daily Telegraph. Of course, I took the newspaper from the bin in the office where I cleaned. He was always here. I never knew his name, but in my mind I called him Boris. My memory is still clear after all these years. We just sat on the bench, eating our sandwiches, reading our newspapers. <laughs> Mind you, I expect he paid for his copy. We never spoke, just sat there. He obviously couldn't stay long, because as soon as he had finished his lunch, he would put down his paper. That was the only thing between us. And when he left, he picked up my newspaper, leaving his own. I always took his paper home, as it had three £20 notes folded into it. A fair exchange for my paper, with its strip of microfilm. All the pictures I took of documents whilst cleaning the Foreign Office. Anonymous and quiet. Nobody knew what I was up to, but then I was serving the workers' cause, or so I thought. I don't know what happened to Boris but it went on for years, until one Friday, many years ago, he wasn't there. Yet I still come to the bench and think of the workers' revolution. <laughs>